I did a stream where I ranked every flavor of GamerSup's GG Energy, so if you're wondering which one to buy, this video is for you. And by the way, you can get 10% off of all orders using code STELLAR at checkout. I am sponsored, but I asked, and they gave me full permission to trash talk the flavors that I'm not a fan of, so pay attention. Me and my friend Connor, he's got like every flavor. He actually has a problem. Like, you guys think I'm a caffeine addict? You guys think I'm a caffeine addict? Good God, this guy has like every flavor of gamer subs i swear to god so we ranked them and today i'm gonna i'm gonna share the ranking with you guys okay akai blueberry is like it's it's like their own flavor so it's not like something you'll you have tasted before but i feel like it's the flavor that no one will ever be offended by akai blueberry it's it's like the definition of middle of the road you know it's not gonna blow your mind but i don't think there's a single person who will drink akai blueberry and like hate it you know however however green apple on the other hand is fucking disgusting. Listen, on its own, a green Jolly Rancher, one green Jolly Rancher is not a problem. But no one likes the Like, everyone, they're eating the green Jolly Ranchers in between the other ones. It's not the highlight. I fucking refuse to believe it. No, you're fucking, you are fucking with my entire asshole if you think green Jolly Ranchers are the, are the best. The flavor, you can, you can eat it. But to drink an entire cup of green Jolly Rancher? Ugh, oh, oh. But it's not the worst one. It's only a D. There are significantly worse flavor. Green apple Slurpee, it's not quite the same because the green apple Slurpee has sugar in it, remember? Gamer Subs has no sugar. Guacamole yes. Gamer Farm, yeah, it's one by the uh, the Russian Badger. Okay, there's another hot take. Here's another hot take for you guys. It's just yellow Gatorade. It tastes identical to yellow Gatorade. I, it's a hot take. I know, and I know I'm gonna piss you guys off. I know you're pissed off at me. And I'm not, why frankly, I'm not gonna apologize. I'll be honest. Yellow Gatorade is not that bad. Yellow Gatorade is still pretty good. But am I gonna, it's, there's no way I'm putting, I'm putting that in S or A. I think it's a low B tier. To be honest, never tried Bigfoot juice, probably never will. Cause I don't know what the fuck flavor it is. And it's weird, it's marketed weird. Blowhole Blast, however, is the one that came out last week. And holy shit, Blowhole Blast. They just came out with it. It's, it's like a tropical flavor. It's, it's got like a little bit of mango, a little bit of some other fruits, and it is good. Dude, it's not even a question. This is absolutely an S. It's so good, dude. And you think Blowhole Blast is the weird flavor? We just went over Guacamole Gamer Fart. And, you, and you're upset about the name Blowhole Blast. Okay. Uh, okay. Next one is another gonna be another controversial one. Blue raspberry, which is like is like the quintessential gamer subs flavor. Like this is like their marketing is built off of blue raspberry, and I'm gonna say it. It's also kind of mid. I think it's definitely above a Kai blueberry. I'm considering put. Matter of fact, I think I will put it at low B. It's like a Kai blueberry. No one's gonna be pissed off drinking this flavor. It's good. It's good, and there's no sugar in it, and they made it sweet somehow, and I like it. Cherry limesicle. Have you guys tried cherry limesicle? I tried cherry limesicle for the first time ever yesterday, and I was pleasantly surprised. Cherry limesicle is good you guys cherry limesicle is good this one is the only one that i've had like i want to the aftertaste is like better than drinking it easy a tier that one is so good uh what's up next Ooh, the lemonade one i did not expect to like the lemonade flavor as much as i did it tastes like genuinely as close to like like it doesn't taste like a, a shitty fountain drink lemonade it tastes like an actual like good lemonade that like someone made like handmade and here's the best part there's no food coloring i think this is the only gamer sub flavor that has no food color i'm not a huge fan of food coloring i'll admit your favorite gamer juice is apple you mean green apple you mean this thing right here in d d for Dick? Dragon Fruit Punch. It tastes basically exactly like Kool Aid. If you like like regular red Kool Aid, Dragon Fruit Punch is get Dragon Fruit Punch. I think it's a high B. Oh, this is the next one. Emotional damage. Chat. Emotional damage is a big win. Emotional damage is my go to. It is my absolute favorite flavor. I think it's strawberry kiwi. No. It's so good. The other thing about both these S tiers, they're both really strong. Next up, <coughs> lychee. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's for everyone. It's a very subtle flavor. Like, there's not a whole lot there, but for me, it's perfect. I drank lychee right before starting stream today. It's really, really good. And also, it's another one of those flavors which does not have a lot of food coloring in it. It's almost clear. I don't know. It's like, it's like having a little bit of flavor, just a little bit of extra flavor in your water and for that i i think it's a low a tier yeah yeah, yeah. next is mango melon hot take old mango melon <laughs> gross new mango melon actually good actually super good they like they like change the formula i don't usually like melon flavored stuff you guys i'm usually not a fan but i'm gonna put it slightly above lychee they redid the mango one it, it tastes a lot better now i like it a lot better next is misfits melon i think yeah yeah, yeah. misfits melon misfits melon chat this tier list keep in mind like there's no mixing i think misfits melon is the one of the best ones to have to mix something with you know but misfits melon on its own i mean to its credit it does taste like a honeydew it does taste pretty much exactly like a honeydew does i don't really like Misfits Melon. Peach tea is another one that I didn't expect to like. I don't like peach tea flavored drinks. I think they're gross. But I, apparently, apparently it's because they keep putting fucking sugar in them. Because peach tea gamer subs is really good. It's an S tier easily. I would drink this every day. Pineapple cock. Pineapple cocktail, I'll say, 
is the best flavor, hands down the best flavor for mixing. But on its own, it's mid. It's definitely better than Misfits Melon. Why do they have like seven strawberry flavors? Do we need seven strawberry flavors? I have strawberry lemonade. Okay, strawberry lemonade is, um. I mean, if you like strawberry lemonade, I don't like strawberry lemonade. Like normal strawberry lemonade, I don't like it. I, I mean, I, that's just a personal opinion. I don't like it. I'm thinking right here, right behind Pineapple Cock. And look at this, there's another one. Oh, strawberry renegade. I haven't tried it. Why do we have so many strawberry flavors? Do we need any more? Do we run out of fruits? And guess what this next one is? Strawberry die query. Why? Why do we have so many strawberry flavors? Like, I, I get it. People like strawberries. But do we need 8,000 fucking strawberry flavors? Probably not. Next, the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, you have all been waiting for. Jay Schlatt's titty milk. Jay Schlatt's titty milk. Not cum. It does not look like cum. I'm kidding. It totally fucking looks like cum. It's so weird to drink this because it looks exactly like cum. And it's the only flavor they, they must have put like some kind of cornstarch or something in it because it actually makes the water thick. It's the only one that makes the water slightly thicker. It's such a weird experience to drink. And, and originally when I had it, when I first tried titty milk, I didn't like it. But after drinking it more, I'm hooked. It's a, it's definitely an A. It's like a, the actual flavor is, it's like a blue raspberry type thing. There's no way they made it thick. I don't know what they put in it, but it's the only one. It is the only one that's like slightly thick to drink. And it's also one of the ones that I mentioned before. There's a slight aftertaste. I, I think the, the aftertaste and just kind of the weirdness of drinking it is what put me off originally. But now that I've tried it more, I think it's actually pretty good. Black cherry. I feel like I should explain myself. Black cherry in itself is not a bad flavor. It tastes identical to the black cherry that you put on your your shaved ice but here's the thing when i go to have shaved ice i usually put the regular flavors on top and then i just put like a little swirl of black cherry you know what i'm saying i just wait a little bit a little, little, little bit of extra black cherry this is like drinking an entire fucking cup of nothing but black cherry it it, it tastes like uh, it's just having it guzzled down your throat it just tastes like pure unfiltered chemicals and what's worse is there is this is without a doubt the most food coloring that they have in any flavor. It is black. It's not like a nice, like light blue. Like, I feel like I'm staining my insides when I drink this thing. It is the easiest F of all time. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's vile. Matter of fact, here we go, vile. That's it. Yippee. Biohazard. Thank you to Hey, I'm Turtle, Maximus, Meet Mighty Fall, People Nutter, Rux Road, The Social Streamers, Time Traveling Ferret, and Unfunny Skeleton for your $10 Patreon pledges. You all have huge genitalia, and I appreciate you. Code Stella for 10% off. Okay, bye.